really important to remember that champions struggle too. Uh, the reality is, is that we lose things in life and uh, things don't go our way. And that's, that's the way life is. That's the way things tend to work. And so what are we going to do when we have the setbacks, when we have the victories and then we end up still not, uh, not happy or depressed or sad or those kind of things? So Elijah had the same thing. First Kings 19 verse 1. When Ahab got home, he told Jezebel everything Elijah had done, including the way he had killed all the prophets of Baal. So Jezebel sent this message to Elijah. May the God strike me and even kill me if by this time tomorrow I have not killed you just as you have killed them. Elijah was afraid and fled for his life. Here Elijah is in trouble. He did exactly what God told him to do. Things turned out in an amazing way. It was an incredible victory. And then he gets that nasty text message from Jezebel that she's going to end his life. And that sent him reeling. Sometimes we struggle after positive things happen. So what did he do? The Bible says he went to Beersheba, a town in Judah. He left his servant there. And then he went alone in the wilderness, traveling all day. He sat under a solitary broom tree and prayed that he might die. If you find yourself in a valley, a few things we see from Elijah's story that we need to make note of. One is this. Some questions, I guess, to ask ourselves. One, are you tired? Elijah had spent a lot of energy mocking those prophets of Baal and ending their lives and pursuing that victory. He had even outrun Ahab's chariot. Uh, in the end, he was tired. And that's a good question to ask ourselves. Are you tired? Have you tried to do too much? Have you pushed yourself too hard? Next question is, are you alone? Elijah left his servant behind and he went by himself out into the wilderness. Um, maybe he did that to protect his servant. Maybe he did that because he just needed some solitude. Uh, there are a lot of reasons why we push people away. And sometimes we do need solitude. However, it's not generally wise to keep ourselves isolated and cut off from others. The next thing I see is, are we praying? The next question is, are we praying? Elijah went to God and he talked to God and he said some things to God. Now, I think prayer is important no matter how it comes out, even if it's messy and broken and one-sided, which is what Elijah's prayer was. But prayer has to become a conversation. It has to be not just me telling God how I feel, but me listening to God and speaking, letting him speak into our lives. Yes, one-sided prayer can be helpful, but when I learn to listen, when prayer moves me to a place that I can hear what God has to say, then prayer is accomplishing its purpose. The psalmist writes in Psalm 42, why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I'll put my hope in God. I'll praise him again, my Savior and my God. And that last question is, where is our hope? Is our hope in our circumstances changing? Is our hope in the answer to the prayer or the request? Or is our hope in God? Those are some important questions that might help change our thinking, help us identify where we actually are, why we might be down, especially after a victory. When the angel of the Lord came again, he touched him and said, get up and eat some more or the journey ahead of you will be too much. There's a path out of the valley, but I should warn you, there are no magic cures. There are no silver bullets. Uh, the way out of the valley is one step at a time. As simple as it may sound, the angel's advice to Elijah was to eat, to get nourishment, to give his body the fuel it was going to need to carry on. See that a lot in scripture. Jesus took naps. I've always found that as an encouragement myself. Elijah took naps. Uh, you know, in his greatest victory uh, of the kingdom, on the other side of that, he took a nap. Maybe, maybe you need a snack and a nap, just like kindergarten, right? There he came to a cave where he spent the night, but the Lord said to him, what are you doing here, Elijah? Elijah replied, I've zealously served the Lord God Almighty, but the people of Israel have broken their covenant with you, torn down your altars, and killed every one of their prophets, your prophets, and I'm the only one left. Now they're trying to kill me. I'm the only one left. Sometimes we believe things that are not true. Sometimes we tell ourselves things that fit our narrative that we're living, but they're also not true. And so the idea that no one understands, that's not true. Jesus was tempted in every way, just like we are, yet he didn't sin. So you can never say that God doesn't understand, that Jesus doesn't understand. So we have to be able to get past the things that we believe that are not true. After the fire, there was a sound of a gentle whisper. We need to remember that stillness is better than busyness. God speaks in a still small voice. 
There's so many loud, attention-demanding things in our world today. James Thurber wrote in his book that became the movie, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, beautiful things don't ask for attention. Nothing's more beautiful than God. God doesn't ask to be noticed. He just is something that we desperately need to notice. Then the Lord told him, go back the same way you came, anoint Elisha to replace you as my prophet. You're not done. You're still here. We need to learn to be still. We need to learn to listen. We might need a nap. But in the end, we're still here and we're not done. So what fuels you? What is it you, God has called you to do and God has touched you to do and God has moved you to do? Then do that thing. Someone needs you. You are someone else's breath. The life you live is someone else's dream. You have more to accomplish in this place. What you perceive as a failure, God is using not just in your life, but in the lives of others. So you may be down. You may have won a great victory and now you're feeling the pressure of defeat. But know this, you are not done. There is much for you to do. There is a path out of this valley.